Round three of the FIA Motocross World Championship, the MXGP of the Netherlands. In MX2, race one, it was Jorge Prado who crossed the Fox hole shot line for the second time this season, closely followed by Thomas Olsen, Henry Jacoby and Tom Vial. David Puchis and Adam Sterry were not too far behind either, nor two were the Yamahas of Yago Kitt and Ben Watson. Conrad Muse ran into Michael Sadner and crashed, so too did Philander, but he was lucky to get away with it. Yago Gitz eventually fell from seventh, but he would eventually come back strong in the latter stage of the race. His teammate Watson, though, would fall and get back to fifth. Vial on the number 28 started to fade. He was caught there by Kevin Philander, and that was for fourth. A couple laps later, it was David Puchis who went through into uh, fifth, but he was passed in the latter stages by Watson. And Yago Kietz. Kietz eventually came home in seventh on his Yamaha. Prado, though, was a winner in race one from Olsen and Jacoby. MXGP race one, Tony Kai Rowley crossed the foxhole shot line for his third foxhole shot of the season. Closely fine was the 99 of Max Anstey, Tim Geiser and Jeremy Sewer. Kai Rowley, though, would lose his lead before the end of the first lap. He ran wide, and Anstey was through. Geiser had a big crash on lap four. He fell spectacularly from third. He remounted in 12 and fought back to seven. Anstey then threw it away, handing the lead to Kai Rowley on lap seven. Anstey would eventually come home in 16. DeSalle came under attack late on in the race from a resurgent, number 25, from Ronda Sal, who made this pass to go into second. Jessaconis passed the hard-charging Italian to move up into fourth place. The Italian, Monticelli, then fell. He eventually came home in 18th. Tony Cairoli, though, was the winner from De Sal, Paul Ant, Jessaconis and Van Horbeek. MX2, race two. Once again, it was Prado crossing the foxhole shot line for the third time this year. Once again, Henry Jacoby right behind him on the Kawasaki, and Olsen was never too far behind either with his teammate in tow, number 14, Jed Beaton, and Tom Vial. Vial was up to fourth, though, by the end of the first lap. But he was in trouble. Number 303, Alberto Ferrato made his move into seventh position, but then the uh, 28 of Vial would fall out. He would pick himself up and rejoined the race, but would eventually come home in 13th place. Alberto Ferrato made a move on the uh, 46 of David Puchis, on what was a good day for the Italian. Valandran made his move on Jacoby to move into fourth, which is where the HRC Honda rider would stay. Jacoby would eventually come home in sixth place. Prado won the race, but in a photo finish, it was Jago Kietz who crossed the line 0.157 of a second clear of Thomas Olsen to take second. Olsen was third, Valandra in fourth, Watson fifth. And the overall belonged to Prado. Olsen second overall, Kietz on the podium for the first time for Yamaha. Championship now looks like this. Olsen continues to hold the red plate. Jacoby is second, Valandra in third, Prado up from sixth to fourth. Courtesy of his two race wins today, but Olsen continues to lead for Rockstar Energy Hasfana as we head to Italy in a week's time. We are getting closer to our goal and uh, that's uh, getting the red plate right now. Had uh, two really good models and uh, an overall win, so couldn't ask for a better day and uh, hopefully to keep uh, going this way and uh, get uh, that red plate soon. MXGP race two, and once again, Tony Cairoli first over the Fox hole shot line for the fourth time this season. Tim Geiser squeezed out Monticelli for second as they exited the first couple of corners. Jeremy Van Horby not too far behind, and Sean Simpson in there as well on the RFX KTM in fifth. Simpson would eventually come home in eighth place. Monticelli was hanging on in there in second position, but before the end of the first lap, he fell from his standing construct KTM, handing the advantages to everybody else around him. Tonus also fell in that same turn. Tonus would eventually come home 25th. De Salvo, an early charger into fourth with that move on Simpson. Gauthier Paul Ando fell spectacularly from seventh whilst trying to pass Lupino. The Yamaha rider would come home in 13th. Another hard charge through the field for Jesse Conus on the Husqvarna. That pass on Simpson put him into uh, fifth place. He then went after the Sal. and she came home in four. The Sal would have to settle for fifth. Tony Cairoli, though, his fifth win from six starts in 2019, ensured the overall victory from Tim Geiser.
And Jeremy Van Horbeek in the overall Grand Prix looked like this. Cairoli to Sal and Geiser. Van Horbeek and Jesse Konis also tied on points for third, but losing out on a three-way tie-break. Cairoli now extends his lead to 22 Eddie. points over Geiser. And de Sal moves up to third. Geiser now heads home to Italy for round four with the red plate on the front of his KTM. Yeah, like I said before, it was it was difficult uh, the week because I thought it's after uh, some rest after England I, I, I will feel a little bit better, but in the sand uh, you feel a little bit more than on the RPX. So I, I was struggling a little bit uh, in the beginning of the races, but the uh, second model was better actually than the first one. And uh, I could, uh, okay, uh, take uh, two good starts again and uh, and, uh, and stay in front for, uh, for both races. 